because we need those checks and balances as people from the community. We need to know that the money that we're paying these people for is going towards the greater the greater good of the community, not just for self improvement. When I signed on, um, accepting my nomination, um, I agreed um, to take this on 24/7. It is not a nine-to-five job, therefore my behavior should not stop at from nine in the morning till five o'clock. If I'm going to be on chief and council, I need to be accountable to people. I can't go off drinking after hours with other chief and council members. I can't be causing havoc within the community if I'm sitting on chief and council. I'm there to be a role model. <coughs> and this is what the ethics committee would take care of. They would take care of the out of line behavior from chief and council because right now we are at a point where we are demanding accountability. <coughs> and that's an issue that a lot of candidates will talk about. But one of the things that we need to think about is which candidates are able to ensure that change happens. At my home, I have a whole detailed strategic plan regarding a lot of this information. And that's why I'm referring to my sheets. Um, it's because I, because of time constraints, I'm not able to go into, into a lot of it. I'm only able to touch on, on it. We need to also support our frontline workers um, within the department. Um, when a person doesn't feel like they're, they're being listened to, then they lose that passion that they have for the job. Um, in speaking to um, some individuals, I learned that uh, the Blood Tribe Administration is in the top ten of the worst employers in all of Alberta. How did we get so low? Where did our pride go? I remember uh, before when we had so much pride that other nations were actually coming to us and they wanted to copy our forms, they wanted to copy our BCRs, they wanted to follow the things that the Blood Tribe was doing. And the question I have is how, how did we slip? How did we slip so low? We need to work together as a team. There is so much animosity with, within the lab, this past leadership that you can't help but feel it in the community knowing that um, some members are not getting along with mem other members and stuff like that. That has to stop. Whatever chief and council are elected, they have to work as a team because only as a team are you able to share your ideas. Only as a team and support for others, others' ideas will you get support for your own. And only by doing that are we able to move on as a nation. It's through teamwork and working together and seeing the common good and the common goal for our communities. I'm very proud to be Blackfoot. I'm very proud to be um, from the Blood Tribe. I've had the opportunity to travel to a lot of other nations. And we are so rich in culture with everything that we do that when you go to these other nations, they're very envious of what we have with the Blood Tribe. That's what we need out there. We need to get our pride back as people. One of the um, um, questions that I've, I've um, seriously been asked is um, how do I plan to incorporate change? And that's a really good question because I cannot go out there and say, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. I'm only going to be one voice. I'm only going to be one voice on Chief and Council. I can't speak on behalf of how other members will feel, but it's by sharing my ideas in a positive way that we'll be able to move on and pulling together everybody as a team and sharing some of their ideas too. I want, one of the things that I want to do is talk about transparency for our community members. One of the things that they do with the City of Lethbridge is they have open City of Lethbridge meetings. My question is, is why don't we have that here on the Blood Tribe? We have closed Chief and Council Chambers. Um, one of the things that we need to do is that we should have our 